Imagine a small nation, renowned for its tulips and windmills, standing defiantly against a global superpower. This isn't a David and Goliath story from a bygone era. It's happening right now. The Netherlands, a country smaller than West Virginia, has refused to fully comply with US pressure to restrict semiconductor exports to China, creating ripples across the global tech landscape. This bold move signifies a pivotal moment in international trade relations, challenging the established norms and raising questions about the future of technological dominance. Welcome to Revo, now your go-to channel for all things revolutionary. At Revo Now, we are passionate about exploring the innovations, breakthroughs, and game-changing ideas that are shaping the world today. Our mission is to bring you the latest and most impactful advancements in technology, science, culture, business, and beyond, all in one place. Please subscribe, like, and share our videos. The implications are far-reaching, potentially reshaping the global balance of power in the 21st century. Welcome, dear viewers, to a deep dive into this fascinating geopolitical chess match. We'll explore the intricate web of factors driving the Netherlands' decision, analyze the potential consequences, and examine the broader implications for the global economy. This isn't just about semiconductors. It's about national, sovereignty, economic interdependence, and the delicate balance of power in an increasingly interconnected world. Prepare to navigate the complexities of international trade and discover the motivations behind this seemingly audacious move. The Netherlands' decision to resist US pressure is not a simple act of defiance. It's a calculated move with deep roots in the country's history and economic philosophy. The Dutch have a long-standing tradition of open trade and global engagement dating back to their golden age in the 17th century. This historical context provides valuable insight into their current stance. Resisting the U.S. reflects a commitment to multilateralism and a belief in the benefits of free and fair trade, principles that have shaped Dutch foreign policy for centuries. This decision has significant implications for the global semiconductor industry, which is already grappling with supply chain disruptions and geopolitical tensions. The Netherlands is home to ASML, a crucial player in the production of advanced chips. Their refusal to fully align with US policy could create a crack in the united front against China's technological ambitions. It also underscores the increasing importance of smaller nations in shaping the future of critical technologies. This small but significant act of resistance has thrown a wrench into the gears of global tech politics. Let's go. Now that we've set the stage, Let's delve into the intricacies of this complex issue. The global semiconductor industry is more than just circuits in silicon. It's the engine of modern innovation, powering everything from smartphones to supercomputers. Control over this vital sector has become a key battleground in the ongoing technological rivalry between the United States and China. Understanding this context is crucial to grasping the significance of the Netherlands' decision. It's a move that has placed them squarely in the middle of a global power struggle. The Netherlands' defiance has sent shockwaves through the international community, challenging the assumption that smaller nations must always bend to the will of larger powers. This act of resistance signals a potential shift in the global power dynamic, where smaller nations leverage their strategic importance to assert their autonomy. The semiconductor industry with its intricate supply chains and reliance on specialized expertise, provides a unique opportunity for such leverage. This is precisely what the Netherlands has capitalized on. This situation is not without precedent. History is replete with examples of smaller nations playing pivotal roles in larger conflicts, often by exploiting their unique geographical or economic advantages. The Netherlands itself has a rich history of navigating complex geopolitical landscapes, using its strategic location and trading prowess to maintain its independence. Their current stance on semiconductor exports can be seen as a continuation of this long-standing tradition. This decision also highlights the growing importance of multilateralism in addressing global challenges. The Netherlands' resistance to unilateral U.S. pressure underscores the need for international cooperation and dialogue in regulating critical technologies. It reinforces the idea that global challenges require global solutions, not unilateral actions by individual nations. 
This stance could encourage other nations to resist similar pressures, potentially leading to a more balanced and cooperative international order. The US has been pushing its allies, including the Netherlands, to adopt stricter export controls on semiconductor technology to China. The stated goal is to prevent China from acquiring advanced chips that could be used for military purposes or to gain an edge in strategic industries like artificial intelligence. However, the Netherlands has resisted implementing the full extent of these restrictions, arguing that such a move would harm its own economic interests and disrupt global trade. The Dutch government's resistance stems from a complex calculus of economic and political considerations. ASML, the Dutch semiconductor giant, is a key supplier of advanced lithography machines essential for producing high-end chips. Restricting exports to China would significantly impact ASML's revenue and potentially damage its long-term competitiveness. Balancing these economic concerns with the pressure from the US has placed the Netherlands in a difficult position. Furthermore, the Dutch government is wary of becoming overly reliant on any single country, particularly in the, in the context of escalating geopolitical tensions. Maintaining a degree of independence in its trade policies is seen as crucial for safeguarding Dutch national interests. This desire for autonomy is a key driver of their reluctance to fully align with US policy. It reflects a broader trend among smaller nations seeking to maintain their strategic autonomy in an increasingly polarized world. The Netherlands' decision also raises questions about the effectiveness of unilateral sanctions in achieving their intended goals. While the US may be able to exert pressure on individual companies or countries, it's becoming increasingly difficult to control the flow of technology in a globalized world. The Dutch case highlights the limits of unilateralism and the need for international cooperation in addressing global challenges. It suggests that a more nuanced and collaborative approach may be necessary to effectively manage the risks associated with advanced technologies. Echoes of trade wars past the current situation between the United States, the Netherlands, and China has echoes of historical trade disputes. Throughout history, nations have used trade as a weapon, imposing tariffs, embargoes, and other restrictions to achieve political or economic objectives. The Opium Wars of the 19th century, for example, were sparked by trade disputes between Britain and China. These historical examples provide valuable context for understanding the current tensions surrounding semiconductor technology. The Dutch East India Company, a dominant force in global trade during the 17th and 18th centuries, provides another historical parallel. The company's success was built on a network of trading posts and alliances, highlighting the importance of strategic partnerships in navigating the complexities of international trade. The Netherlands' current stance on semiconductor exports can be seen as a modern-day manifestation of this pragmatic approach to trade. The Cold War era also offers valuable lessons. The technological competition between the United States and the Soviet Union led to restrictions on the export of sensitive technologies. However, these restrictions often proved ineffective as technology found ways to circumvent barriers. This historical experience suggests that attempting to contain China's technological rise through export controls may be similarly challenging. The current semiconductor dispute highlights the enduring relevance of history in understanding international relations. By studying past trade wars and technological competitions, we can gain valuable insights into the dynamics at play today. History reminds us that trade is often intertwined with politics, and that attempts to control the flow of goods and technology can have unintended consequences. Understanding these historical patterns is essential for navigating the complex landscape of global trade in the 21st century. Trade a tangled web of interests to understand the Netherlands' decision. It's crucial to view trade not as a simple transaction, but as a complex web of interconnected interests. Imagine a spider's web, where each strand represents a different economic or political connection. Pulling on one strand can create vibrations throughout the entire web, impacting various actors in unforeseen ways. This metaphor captures the interconnectedness of global trade and the ripple effects of policy decisions. In the case of semiconductors, the web is particularly intricate. The production of advanced chips involves a complex global supply chain, with different countries specializing in various stages of the process. The Netherlands, with its expertise in lithography, plays a crucial role in this ecosystem.
Restricting its exports would disrupt the entire supply chain, impacting not only China, but also other countries that rely on these advanced chips. The metaphor of a web also highlights the delicate balance of power in international trade. Each nation, like a spider on the web, is constantly maneuvering to secure its own interests. The Netherlands' decision to resist United States pressure can be seen as an attempt to maintain its position within this web, balancing its economic interests with its geopolitical considerations. The web metaphor also underscores the importance of understanding the interdependencies between different nations. In a globalized world, no country can exist in isolation. The Netherlands' decision demonstrates that even smaller nations can exert significant influence on the global stage by leveraging their strategic position within the intricate web of international trade. This interconnectedness creates both opportunities and challenges, requiring careful navigation and a nuanced understanding of the various actors and their interests. Subscribe to Revo now and join our vibrant community of forward thinkers, change makers, and revolutionaries.